So I knew that Arnold and Sylvester Stallone had this big rivalry back in the day, but I didn't realize just how bad it was because they're buddies now. They did Expendables, all those Expendables movies together. But uh, Sylvester Stallone did an interview talking about the rivalry back in the day that they hated each other. They couldn't even stand to be in the same atmosphere as each, as each other is what he said. And that movie that Sylvester did back in the day with Estelle Getty uh, was really bad. Stop or my mom will shoot. And... Arnold is the one that tricked Sylvester Stallone into doing it. Arnold went around going, this is a great movie. I'm going to do this movie. I can't wait. So then Sylvester was like, ah, I'm going to get this role. Took it from Arnold. And then when it was just crap, he said it was a total piece of crap movie. Arnold goes, ha ha. So he tricked him into doing this disaster of a movie, which I kind of liked it. I mean, come on, it wasn't that bad. Well, this is pretty bad. Twitter has been a hot mess since Elon Musk took over. You've got layoffs, resignations, of course, the whole blue check debacle. Well, if I'm not mistaken, what this looks like is that Elon fired an engineer over a tweet. He was apologizing for just the cluster that is Twitter right now and the whole platform. So this engineer responded on Twitter saying that he was wrong. Some arguments back and forth. Elon basically said, yeah, he's fired. I don't know if he was joking, but Elon Musk is the boss, so it's probably legit. Well, this is legit. Uh, Britney Spears, there is video of her auditioning for a certain blockbuster movie. And back in the day, she even talked about auditioning for a certain movie that she thought was just going to be fantastic. What would excite you now, the next step for you? What would excite me? Yeah. Probably to get this um, amazing movie, this this script that I read. It's amazing. They already have someone doing it, but I would die if I got to do it. You try to tell me they're choosing somebody over you? Huh? Yeah. Who? who just, <laughs> I'm not gonna say. Let's no, no, no. Change the subject. I just want to know change who the actress the is. Just who's the actress? So you don't need to say the film. Just who's the actress, so we know what not to go and see. I can't do that. I can't do that. I know you want to. Huh? It's there. <laughs> I know, I can see, I actually read it, but I'm not going to tell them, I'm going to let you say it. But I know it's there, just, just you know. It's, it's no, it's just, you know what, it's the most amazing script I've ever read. And I think it's, you know, mm-hmm. it's really, really good. So it turns out it is the notebook. She auditioned for the notebook and this video popped up on eBay. Starting bid, a million dollars. And the whole description is, here it is officially, rare, Britney Spears auditioning for the notebook, one of a kind original. The notebook made Rachel McAdams a star. Little does anyone know, Britney Spears also auditioned for the role. It's a never before seen until now, and it was recorded on April 18th, 2002 on Sony HI 8 millimeter. Her audition with Ryan Gosling runs one second short of 10 minutes. And it looks a little sus- because the dude's only got like 14 followers on eBay, but some of the pictures do show her and Ryan Gosling in front of a blue screen, and they are buddies. And back in the day, Ryan was talking about how talented he thought she was. So this could be a situation. I remember uh, when we first got to the show, they they sort of had all the, the kids perform for one another. And it was sort of, I remember it was... Christina Aguilera and then and then Britney performed and I remember thinking, oh, okay, so they're like freakishly talented. So it looks legit. Is someone gonna pay a million dollars for it? 